Well, as you can see, we're at Paraclete XP, and with me, Instructor Dave. How are you, sir? What's going on, man? Doing What's good. going on inside that wind tunnel? People are flying right now, man. That's awesome. So how much wind does it take to suspend someone in the air? It takes about 100 to 120 miles per hour on average, wind speeds wise. Wow, that's awesome. Talk to me a little bit about this facility. Um, it goes about, well, 56 feet tall from top to bottom. Uh, diameter wise is 16 and a half foot known to be one of the uh, biggest in the world Wow one of the best training facilities in the world as well Wow um, and the military trains here yes absolutely uh, military from around the world as well come down to use this facility um, as well as our Golden Knights our American team here Wow that's awesome and talk to me a little bit about the introductory package that someone wanted to come in and take some classes with you all okay uh, the basic uh, package would be about two minutes you come in 45 minutes prior to your book time okay. Uh, you come in, we introduce ourselves, we start you up on a class, won't last about 10 to 15 minutes or so, uh, and then we get you geared up, throw you in, man, we rock and roll. That's awesome. It's all right here in the Fayetteville area, too. All in the Fayetteville area, all beautiful. That's great. Well, for more information, check out paracletexp.com. We're at the Museum of the Cape Fear to talk to you today about a photography exhibit called Stagville Black and White. Lisa Greathouse is the museum's curator of education. Lisa, I've had a chance to browse some of the photographs here today. They're amazing. Can you tell us more about them? Yeah, they are. It's an amazing study by Dr. Brenda Scott, who's a photographer out of Durham. She went and did a study of Stagville State Historic Site, which is located also in Durham. And she took thousands of photographs and ended up with 64 that she created this exhibit with. That's great. And it's an amazing addition to our Fayetteville community. You're running the exhibit through September the 13th. Please be sure to check out more information on their website. It's really all about the patient when you look at the mission and vision and the values of the Cape Fear Valley healthcare system and that's what we're about and that's what we're here for and that's what we do every day. Get ready for hot blues and cold brews this weekend at the Blues and Brews Festival downtown at Festival Park. With us to tell us all the information is Karen Tisdale. Karen, how are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm great. So tell us about what's going on this weekend. Well, first of all, we have been uh, really fortunate for Anstead's Tobacco Company to join us as our top sponsor. So we are once again going to have a great outdoor cigar bar at Blues and Brews. We have over 100 beers again this year, some uh, new breweries joining us to the pack. We have a game section, and we're excited about lots of people joining us. And what are you most excited about? I'm most excited about our headliner band, Tully Bray. She is joining us all the way from Louisiana, and she is going to put on a spectacular performance that you don't want to miss. So visit us at www.cfrt.org to get your tickets. Everything from Blues and Brews benefits the Cape Fear Regional Theater. That's great. Well, we look forward to seeing each and every one of you out this Saturday from 5 to 10 o'clock at Festival Park. That's all the time we have for now. So thanks so much for watching Bay 180. We'll be back with you next week. This is Landon Bentham. Have a great week. <laughs>